Okay everyone, welcome back. Um, so today's video is a video of our honey harvest. This was done on Monday, June 20th, 2022. This is our second harvest of the year. Um, my dad was in town and it's been about three weeks since we took the first harvest. Um, that first harvest we had one of those boxes which we call a super on each of our uh, established hives. We got uh, five supers which is about 50 quarts. This time we had almost seven supers. Um, and then you'll see uh, in a following video, a follow-up video of this, uh, where we went and put these uh, frames back on the hives once they were, uh, the honey was removed from them. Um, and we actually pretty much doubled, I uh, believe, um, how much, how many supers we have on each hive. So we double stacked each hive, which you'll see on the follow-up video to this. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, but so what you see right now, what my dad's doing is actually what we call decapping. So the honeycomb the bees build is these little hexagon cells that are, um, they go out from the center on both sides of the honeycomb. And when the honey is ready to be harvested, he actually, they actually um, close those cells up. Well, in order for the honey to come out, when you spin the uh these the honey spinner i guess you'd say the extractor there's the word for it um you have to take those off so that's what he's doing in the first part and then he's spinning it and basically it's just using centrifuge energy in order to basically just like throw the honey out then he's unloading it um, he, we have an empty box that once they're done, we put them in, and that box was full, so then he moves the next one over, and it just goes in an assembly line fashion. <laughs> so while he was working on that, I was actually cleaning up a little bit around the house. Sorry for the mess, um, but, you know, that's life with a little baby. So here he is just emptying out the extractor. Um, and then what you see right in front of you, those uh, frames right there are frames he's already decapped. He has that box uh, resting on top of a, a sterilite container and that way the honey will drip down into that. So he's just letting it drip into a container that we will then strain that honey and get it out from separate from the wax. So he's just got some that's already ready, then he's just going to reload the extractor and spin it again. And there he goes. <laughs> Okay, on this part, um, basically the bucket that he was putting the honey into is full. So then he's going to take that strainer that you see in his hands just over the top of that frame of that box, I mean. Um, and he's just going to quickly put it onto an empty bucket. Then he's going to move the full bucket out of the way so that he can continue spinning. And you see that it's almost completely full with honey. <laughs> So he puts that one right under the honey gate, um, and I guess he's not going to open it. There he goes. There he goes. He opened it. <laughs> so this extractor is a small extractor. It can only do six frames at a time, which is not a bad thing for our scale that we're on. The only issue um, is that you pretty much can't actually extract the six frames completely without the amount of honey actually like touching the bottom of the um, the rack that the frames sit in. So pretty much what we figured out is the best thing to do is open up the honey gate and just as you're spinning, let the honey drain down into the bucket. So that's what he's doing. And then 
um, halfway through, like once you once you spin it out, um, the first side, you have to flip the frames over, and the side that has honey that was facing towards the center of the circle, you have to get that to face to the outside, which is what he did, and then he's spinning again on the same frames. Here he is spinning again, fast forwarded this time. He wishes he was that fast. Ha 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 ha. Okay, now those are done. And we put them in the box with the other empties. And he keeps bumping the tripod. <laughs> All right, and then he's going to start uncapping again. This is like some of the prettiest honey that we've ever had, actually. Um, we actually are not running any queen excluders on our uh, supers, just because the excluders um, sometimes have a tendency to exclude not only the queen, but sometimes the bees themselves don't want to go through them. So what we do is we just kind of let them do their thing, and, you know, if we pull frames and they've got brood in them, then we just leave them for the bees and what have you. So this is what it looks like when you're uncapping. This is our uncapping pan. Um, so he's cutting off a lot of wax, uh, which is fine because that's a byproduct that we can sell or use for other projects. Um, and then you'll see, you see how much honey is actually in there. So what we do when we get finished is we actually, we're going to move that into the Sterlite container um, and then run it through a strainer to get all the honey out. And then what I'll do afterwards, I'll, I'll come back later. Um, I usually set that, that wax out, let the bees clean it. And then later on, I'll come back and actually um, clean that wax. So here's the honey. Look at that. It's just like a clear gold color coming out of the extractor into the strainer. Um, for anyone wanting to get into this, that strainer, you can actually buy it off of Amazon. That's where I got it. So here you see those uh, six frame, six boxes there are the ones with the empty frames. And we are almost done. And then these are four that still need to be uncapped. And then here he is spinning. You can see a close-up of it. All it does is just spin and the speed of that and the centrifugal force is actually throwing the honey out of the frames. And then we just leave the honey gate open and let it drain down into the uh, stainless steel strainer. And away it goes. So um, just one more quick note before this video is over. Um, as you can see from this process, there is no heat added to this honey at any point in the process. Um, a lot of people will use hot knives and things like that, which some people say, well, it's not real raw honey. I don't know. I'm not going to argue. But this is the process we use. So if you're ever in doubt about whether or not our honey is raw, it is raw. We do not heat it. It goes straight from those buckets into the jars just like it is. So that gets most of the wax out and anything else that you wouldn't want in there. And, you know, it's not microfiltered. It's just pure raw honey. So thanks for watching. And I hope you guys come back for more. I'm hoping to be... A little bit more diligent about you know getting videos out and posting and things like that so thanks for watching and come back for the next one make sure to hit like and subscribe and share this video with your friends thanks a lot bye, -bye.